Hey everyone, this is Todd Hirsch with uh, How HubSpot Works. This is our first video. Uh, we're going to talk about um, HubSpot's new landing page functionality. And in particular, we're going to talk about the editing tool today. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so when you log into HubSpot, uh, you go to content and go to landing pages. And you get to this page here that we were just looking at. And uh, so when you want to create a new one, just simply create a new landing page by clicking on the blue button over there. So what you'll see here is uh, the start page to create a new landing page. So the first thing you need to do is name it. You want to name it something relevant that you uh, to your campaign or to your landing page so that you'll be able to recognize it. Um, so <clears throat> typically best practices is to say something along the lines of, some kind of you know descriptive landing page title that you'll recognize and, and that you'll see. So uh, that's so put so put the title in. And again, this is just uh, internally, so you won't see this uh, on the website or in, in any other any other place. It's just for internal HubSpot. Then the other great thing here that they have in the new tool is all of these new templates, all these new layouts that you can use. So lots of different kinds here. Uh, we'll, we won't talk about them in detail, but what's nice about it is that you can see them over here. So you can actually click on one and go, oh yeah, that's how it's going to look, or this one here. And um, so anyway, they have different kinds. Uh, the, the one that I like the best, that's the, kind of the most, the basic one, but most flexible, actually they're all flexible, is two column form, right? So you can see that that is going to have a header up here. It'll have a... Um, It'll have uh, the form here, and it'll have co a copy over here, and the, the share widgets down here. So, um, and you can change all those things, and we'll talk about that later. But uh, so let's go ahead and choose that, and then click on Create Landing Page. Okay, so once you're in there, now you have a whole bunch of different um, different options here, or different fields to fill out, and we're going to go over those in a fair amount of detail. So uh, the first thing to remember is, is that this is the new new editor as opposed to the old new editor. Um, HubSpot might ask you if you want to try this editor. Uh, just say yes because it's much better. So, Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the next field, page title. This is your title tag, okay? So if you guys know anything about SEO, this is an important uh, title, uh, this is an important field to fill out with good quality keywords uh, so you, your landing page can get found. Um, so uh, something here needs to be, um, you know, quality, uh, strategic keywords. Okay, let's call it that. Okay, and then typically, obviously you want to describe what your page is. Uh, this has to be uh, a limited number of character sets, 80 characters. And then um, also I like to put a pipe and then the name of the company. So name of your company. Okay. Uh, landing page URL, that's the next. So what, what it does here, uh, what HubSpot does here, which is kind of nice, is it just fills out the keywords that you put in your title tag, which is a best practice, right? So the keywords that go here should also show up here. Um, so um, name of your company, you may, not, may or may not want to put that in there. Probably not. So I would take that out, um, add another keyword here or two, and you're good. Next section. Uh, section header. Okay, so you can see over over here that's that's this section. So you can change that. So you want to put something like um, this is the title of your landing page. Okay, and it shows up automatically over there, which is kind of nice. You can see what it's going to look like. Here is the section header, subheader. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, the next one is um, this section, something powerful. Okay, so this is the text section, and you can see that um, HubSpot has provided a whole WYSIWYG editor here. You can do all kinds of things: links, uh, change the h the h tags, uh, change the size. Uh, you can uh, even check out what the you uh, the HTML looks like and manipulate the HTML if you want. Uh, links, all kinds of good stuff there. Um, so I uh, recommend you explore that. And then going down here, next is about the title. Okay, so, or excuse me, about the form. This is over here. Now the form obviously is a very key part of any landing page. It should always be on the landing page. And so, um, and then the form title, what is that? Well, that shows up on the page. So if I say something like, fill out this form to get something awesome. Okay. 
it will show up over here. Okay, and it's just a nice little um, nice little call to action for the uh, for the visitor. Um, then you need to select the form. So key thing here is is that create the form first before you create the landing page. And we'll talk about it in another video, kind of landing page campaign development and order of operations but uh, you should always create one first and then you can select it here so anatomy guide form let's just that was a form we did a while back so we'll, we'll create that um, and then the other thing that you want to create beforehand is also as a thank you page right so what one thing that um, the HubSpot landing page functionality allows you to do here is say oh do you want to redirect to another page upon after the person submits the form or do you want to just show an inline thank you message so I recommend that you actually have a thank you page that it redirects to another web page that says thank you very much, here's the link to your download or whatever you're doing um, and that, that's a little bit better user experience than just an inline thank you message. So again, create that page first and then go in here, find the page, it can be whatever you want and you're good to go. Okay, so that's there. Uh, next one is form submission notifications. So after somebody submits the form, where do you want to send an email to? Okay, so send form notifications to specified email address. Absolutely, select it here. Find a, an email address. The email addresses have to be with uh, somebody who's actually a HubSpot user. So if you're not a HubSpot user or the person you want to send it to is not a HubSpot user, you have to go and do that in um, settings, and we can talk about that in another video at some point. Uh, next one, send post, uh, sub, send post submit emails. Um, do you want to um, add to workflow or do you want to just send a simple follow-up email? So uh, we won't get into a lot of detail on this video, but basically the idea here is, is an auto-response of some sort. So um, once they submit the form, typical best practice is that they get an email, right? Sort of nice feedback that says, hey, thanks for your download or thanks for your interest. Here's the download. Uh, you can click here, right? So um, what I would do here is create an, again, um, uh, an email subject line that's kind of compelling, something along the lines of, thank you for your interest in blah, 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 and your company name. Here is your download, or something along those lines. Uh, the email from name, again, this should be, some, usually is a, is a person's name. The best practice is that it's coming from somebody and not just like an, a faceless corporation. So, uh, myself, if you want, that's great. And then my email address. Okay, so, uh, and then you fill out, you know, and then you have another editor here for the email itself. So you just create the email here. You know, thanks again for blah, blah, blah. And you can, here is your download. And what's nice about it is you can make that nice and big. <clears throat> so you can make that like an H2, for example, and link it, right? So you go over here and link it. And you can actually add the link here to the document, the PDF or the video or whatever you're trying to, uh, whatever your, uh, your, whatever content is uh, that you're gating on the form. Um, the last thing that's uh, kind of interesting here is that HubSpot allows you to share this landing page or allow people to share the landing page. So um, it automatically creates the URL when you create the, cre uh, puts the URL in there when you create the URL up here. So uh, you just need to, if you like that, um, or if you want, you know, that's what you want to do. You're going to want to share this landing page. And then it allows you to turn on or off different um, uh, social media platforms. So um, if people want to share that on Facebook, boom, there's the URL automatically. If they want to share the landing page on Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, Pinterest, and also just via email, which is kind of nice. So uh, that is kind of the basics of the form. Um, lots of other things to talk about. Obviously, you want to save it. When you save it, it just saves a draft. And then here, there's the publish button. So um, you have to publish. That will actually publish and make the site live when you click on that button. And then this little thing here, that's telling you that there's something you have to do before you publish it. In this case, it says you must provide a media link for Pinterest. So we'll just turn that off for now, and you can see that this will go away. So now you can actually publish it. So great, that is it uh, for this basic tutorial on the new editing tool for landing pages in HubSpot. Hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions, uh, leave it in comments or uh, contact me on the Contact Us form. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later.